Hello and welcome to another episode of Tech Update with Techie SMS where I used to cover all the latest tech update, maybe a new project, maybe a new event, maybe new product release in the span of the month and this is the December 2023 edition, the last episode of this 2023 year and I got a lot of new events and new products for you guys. Starting with the event which is happening in my own state Gujarat which is Maker Fest Vadodara 2024. As of now like at this moment when the video is released the maker registration may get uh, closed if they don't extend it uh, more because it says 31st December is the last day of maker registration. So hopefully you are not able to register as a maker now but still you can go ahead and attend this event as a visitor because you're gonna experience a lot of new projects new innovation new startups and everything new in the field of this uh, maker community or maker culture it's happening on 3rd and 4th of february in varodhara gujarat so i'll be leaving away its link in the description if possible do try to visit this maker fest moving ahead we have a video about the event it was it is not an actual event happening but the event which already happened back in uh what you can say the last month in november 2023 and it's the maker fair shenzhen which i visited okay and uh, this time like in this month i uploaded the video about the day two of maker fair shenzhen and why i included this video in this tech update series because i really want you to watch out this video not only just to experience the makers and the startups and all the companies all those things but there is a very innovative thing uh, at the end of the video which is about my visit to nantau ancient town uh, in which seed studio in collaboration with uh, one k urban research uh, you know added some uh, tech in the town to make it more smarter more efficient so they they actually implemented the LoRa based technology, the LoRa WAN gateway, the 4G cellular connectivity and a lot of sensors to get the data, to analyze the data and take the uh, you know, necessary actions based on it. Okay, So whatever we have learned about like the LoRa, the AI, the, the cellular connectivity, everything, they tried to make the product out of it and implemented it in real life and those devices can work. Uh, years and years and they say that uh, the single uh, charge of the battery will last for three to five years so it is so efficient as well so I'll definitely insist you to watch out this video to experience to see uh, how things are working in china like how they are actually implemented implementing the things that they are making a really great thing okay moving ahead now is the time to see the new products now this month I got to see a lot of new new products or maybe their announcement. I don't have any project in this uh, month episode in this month's episode and I don't know why like projects are dying or what or is it just me who is not liking the project or is it just me who, who is not able to see the projects on YouTube or stuff like that. Uh, if you if you know any kind of interesting project that you came through in the span of the month well do try to dm us on instagram so that we can watch out those uh, projects and if, if we really like them we can you know publish them in the episodes of tech update like in the future episodes of tech update so do try to share whatever projects you like with us on our instagram or twitter i'll be leaving away all the handles down in the description of this video so now let's focus on the new product release so first is coming from the ai thinker which is ai pi cam d200 now this exactly looks like the esp32 cam board which was originally from ai thinker only of course but what i think is ai thinker is now trying to eliminate all the expressive chipsets and want to develop their own chipset mostly based on their risk v architecture and this is one of that example so this is this whole esp32 cam no not esp32 cam the i aipi or ap cam is based on AI M6132 S chipset, which I think must be similar to the ESP32 uh, chipset, but has a lot of upgradation as well because this this chipset has Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, and thread connectivity support as well. So the out the form factor is exactly like the ESP32 cam, and it also has the SD card connector at the uh, at the back. So uh, like uh, look wise, it exactly looks the same as the ESP32 cam, but this is from the AI Thinker chipset and they have provided all the documentation about it like this is an open source I think because they have provided the schematic files and the BOM files everything regarding this product uh, on this page I'll be leaving away everything in the description so this is the new product released by AI Thinker in the span of the month uh, of December 
but uh, i didn't find any documentation that uh, supports uh, that let us know that this device is supported by arduino ide as well uh, but okay so as of now i don't think we can program it with arduino ide but i definitely think in future we may get the support of arduino ide with all the ai thinker chipset and as i just mentioned that ai thinker is eliminating the expressive chipset so they came up with their own new chipset series so these are all the chipset from ai thinker the wi-fi bluetooth and thread support uh, chipset are available now on ai thinker website and uh, I, none of them is supported with arduino id yet but uh, i visited to ai thinkers office uh, last month and they said they are working on the arduino id support so we may be able to see the arduino support soon with all the ai thinker chipset moving on to the next update and next new product from lilygo well this is the uh, t panel now previously we get to see the teaser kind of thing regarding t panel but now we get to see a complete board and here surprisingly this single device has two different uh, esp chipsets like uh, one is here and another one is here it is mentioned in the description or the the uh, what you can say caption as well this is based on esp32 s3 plus esp32 h2 it's a combination of both the chipset now i don't know the exact reason of using both the chipset in the single device but maybe in future when we get the actual documentation of this product we can be clear like why they use both the chipsets in a single product okay but uh looking at the specification or the the caption it seems that it is it is made for industrial uh grade uh communication because it supports the rs485 and the canvas protocol which are majorly used in the industry okay so this is kind of an hmi because it has a display in the front and on the back it has some really powerful chipsets and uh, all the industrial communication protocols so this is the new product released by lilygo uh which is called st panel next is again from the lilygo which is called as TQT C6 so definitely it is based on ESP32 C6 but it's really really very very small it's kind of a fingertip controller uh, which is mentioned here and in the next story they also design uh, maybe this one yeah in the next post they also designed a 3d printed case for it to easily get fit inside the finger just like a finger rings okay so this uh, i don't know if this is a touch screen or not or it's just a display but the form factor is really really very small it it's really very small uh let's see let's wait for this product to actually release in the market and get the documentation so that we can come to know what are the features of it and what kind of task or what kind of projects we can make using it but uh, it's really exciting to see all these things in real isn't it so yeah moving on to the next product which is already released by lilygo it's called as t keyboard s3 mechanical axis plus tft combination now i get to experience this product when i was in china for maker fresh engine you can also see that in my maker fresh engine video but yeah this product is now released and and uh, they already published its product page here so they are shipping this product along with this 180 degree uh what you can say usb cable which is also pretty interesting to see this, this can be rotated in any any 180 degree angle okay so this is kind of a keyboard which we can customize for any of the tasks that we want to perform okay so all the keys have a uh, display on it which we can customize it okay we can have any image on that display so we can you know basically customize the application of any of the keys and we can use it for maybe game for editing for or any kind of stuff maybe for programming any shortcuts we can program on the those keyboards so it's a total customizable keyboard uh with a display on it so you can definitely get it get one for you from the lilygo website it's now live next is again the last one from lilygo now this is kind of a teaser because we don't know we don't have any much detailed information about it but it is lilygo t dongle s3 now uh let's just let's just analyze this image so the image says that is based on esp32 s3 chipset okay it has 16 mb of flash memory again okay no problem it has a tf card means we can insert the card in it okay then it has a lcd display maybe yeah that ips lcd display on it a full color R, uh, uh, ips display okay uh, it has a usb dongle now i'm not pretty much sure what is the purpose of this device can we use it as a what we can say 
kind of an OTG cable or maybe to uh, run some scripts on this device and you know when we plug into the computer the scripts start running and stuff like that well I'm not pretty much sure what's the exact application of this dongle and, and how they will be marketing it but I'm really excited to see that like how they will be introducing this product in the market and what kind what's the purpose of this product and what kind of things we can do using this product but yeah this is another uh, product update from Lilico and now we do have a couple of more new products but from a different company which is M5 Tech. So all the time like M5 Tech and Lilico are the common brands uh, of this uh, tech update series because these two brands come up with a lot and lot and lot of new things every month. So from M5 Tech we get to see a pretty exciting product called as the unit QR code which is a 2D and 3D code scanner so we can scan both the QR code and the barcode on it and this is kind of a full what you can say standalone device and it can it can be connected with other microcontrollers with the UART uh, connectivity I guess let's just try try to confirm it here so if I zoom it in, okay, so it is supporting the UART protocol and also the I2C protocol. So we can connect with the other microcontroller to take the data of the code and maybe make some uh, further you know, actions based on the data received. Maybe a wireless barcode reader, maybe an IoT barcode reader, anything we can do with this uh, this thing. This, this is based on STM32 chipset, okay, so this, uh, if we can connect it with ESP32 to provide all the Wi-Fi or the wireless, you know, uh, uh, connectivity options. So here is a small demo of this particular product. Let's just have a look. Okay, so we can scan all the barcodes and QR code. And as you can see, they have attached with the M5, uh, M5 stack device and they are scanning all the codes one by one, which are stored uh, in, in this device and displayed on the device. So very tiny yet accurate QR code reader. Really great. Next is again from the M5 stack and it is the unit cam S3 board. When, and when I see its video, well, first of all, let me tell you, this is a camera board, but it also has a microphone built in. So it has a microphone, it has a camera with uh, the wide angle lens of 66.5 degree viewing angle and on the back it is based on ESP32 S3 chipset and we have the SD card support as well. Now by default it comes with a built-in firmware so it's kind of a plug-and-play device where you just need to power it up and it is ready to be used. Let me just try to search that video for you. Okay so here is that video explaining the about the product and also how to use it uh, with its built-in firmware. Okay so you just need to plug it in and it will be acting as an access point on which you need to to connect your smartphone then it will be showing up uh, in your web browser like this kind of interface is given so you can record the audio you can play it and let me just go back so you can record the audio you can store it in SD card you can capture the photo you can live stream and there are different different modes explained in this video like you can capture one shot you can stream okay this is the video streaming then this one is interesting you can also schedule this device to take the image after every particular interval of time which will be uploaded into the cloud by m tag and which you can later view using this QR code now here I'm confused whether they will charge for this uh, cloud service or not I'm, I'm not sure and also we have a time-lapse kind of feature support in which we can take the photos and save it in the SD card after every particular time interval so these all things comes built in inside the uh, inside the inside the factory firmware you can say which you can use it by plug and play and uh, for that I think you will definitely be able to program it with the help of Arduino IDE as all the M5 stack devices uh, like we can do using Arduino right so this is uh, the new product released uh, in the span of the month December from M5 stack a really great uh, camera device moving ahead we have a new product again from M5 stack and this is the smallest uh, miniature weighing scale you can say uh, uh, and even if it is miniature it has a range or uh, range of 0 to 5 kg so maximum 5 kg of load it can sense and we can you know visualize that load in the in, in the display okay so there must be a demo video about it okay so here's the demo video so this is connected via groove connected with an m5 stack device and uh, yeah this is up 200 grams and we can see the exact 200 gram on the display so and kind of an accurate or weighing scale but a really really small size okay so and when I see this kind of device I was like wow I can make it wireless and I, I can make it as an IOT weighing scale where uh, the scale will be sitting on one side and I can visualize the weight of it on my smartphone and maybe I can store it uh, record all the data and everything we can do if, if the data is coming 
over internet or over wi-fi we can store it we can analyze it we can do whatever we want maybe we can attach a wireless display maybe the wing scale is downside and we have wireless display on the upside and we can see the real time reading so all this kind of things we can do when we have the the support of internet connectivity with our product so this is also released in the market and it's available on the m5 stack uh, website let me just check it out just to confirm so yeah this is definitely available and uh, let's just see it is based on okay again it is based on stm32 chipset only and it supports the i2c communication for further connecting with the other microcontroller board and yeah those were all the new things all the new events and everything new which I found it interesting in the span of the month, December 2023. I hope you get to learn at least one new thing or get to know at least one new thing after watching this video. And if is it so, well, don't forget to hit the like button and let the YouTube algorithm know that this kind of videos are really good and worth watching so that it will promote it with the other viewers as well. Also share your comments about if I missed something in this month and you think it should be covered in the video, well, do drop those updates down the comments of the video and i will definitely try to add all those updates maybe in the description of this video if they are very interesting for majority of the people and yeah that being said first of all i'll wish you all a very very happy new year very happy 2024 may this year you know uh, bring a lot of success in your life may this uh, year be a, your year to achieve all your goals all your desires all your all your what you can say dreams and everything may this year be full of happiness for you and yeah with that thought i am just ending this video here and now just wait for my next video and then explore learn share with me take care